So hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another class of PIB 247. In today's session guys, we are going to do the PIB news from 30th and 31st of March 2023. And I know uh, you guys uh, have been waiting for the notification for so long and you guys are now tired and sick. But that is the basic idea for the government examinations. Right, so your patient's ka level will definitely test hoga at every stage of the examination, right from the notification till the interview. When the notification doesn't come, then also uh, your patient is being tested. After that, when the notification comes, so at all the stages, which is a fight with your own patients, you have to fight with your own patients, guys. And in this fight, I am with you completely. You guys can message me on Instagram and Telegram and can solve all your queries if you need anything to help me, so I am here for you. Right? And the entire Anujinder team is for you guys. So just don't uh, be sad. Uh, I mean, there is no need to be angry, there is no need to Just keep the level of motivation at its highest level so that you don't have to wait for the notification. Right? So please don't do that. I would suggest that only and I can do that only for you. If you have any problem or problem, then you can message me on my own. You can message me on Telegram or Instagram. I am here for you guys. Alright, so let's begin with the very first question for today. And the question says, Where has the Ministry of Communication organized the first international quantum communication conclave to discuss latest advancements in quantum communication technology? So this basically uh, it was a conclave where discussion regarding the quantum communication technologies were held and this was organized in New Delhi by the Ministry of Communication. So you need to remember the location, the ministry and of course the name of the conclave. So it was international quantum communication conclave organized obviously by the Ministry of Communication in New Delhi. Right? The objective was already told in the question that to discuss latest advancements in the quantum communication technologies. And very important thing that you have to remember is that it was organized in association with CDOT, which is Center for Development of Telematics, Telecommunication Standards Development Society of India, and IEEE Communication Society's Delhi chapter. Right? So, in this way, conclave, mein, unless there is something uh, important, you have to do more things. Location, name of the conclave, which agency or organization has organized it, or if there is any theme. So that is all about it and that's why the correct answer will be option E, New Delhi because it was organized in New Delhi. Question number two, recognition of prior learning program is a component of which of the flags, uh, which of the following flagship scheme. So that's a very easy question. I believe most of you uh, know the answer to this question. But the thing is why this program is in news. So why it is in news that is also not important for your examination because it is in news because uh, some number of carpenters have been trained and certified under the RBL program by Furniture and Fitting Skilling Council under the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship and NARC group. Of course, the examiner is not going to ask you this question. Okay? That is not at all required for your examination. But since recognition of prior learning program is a new, so it becomes our duty, our responsibility to cover it. Right? And today, since the news, the number of news is very low, so I have decided that I will take a scheme for you. Uh, which is Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, right? And of course, RPL is a part of Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, as you all know. And the objective of uh, discussing this scheme today is that you can tell that you have to scheme to what level you have to learn and what you have to learn, right? So let's uh, move ahead to the recognition of prior learning program first, and then we will come to the uh, Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. So now this is clear ho gai, that. RPL program is the component of Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana and as the name says recognition of prior learning right whatever the beneficiary has learnt right uski recognition ki jayegi and that will be taken one step ahead under this program so it is an assessment process basically which is used to evaluate a person's existing skill sets right knowledge and experience gained either by formal non formal or informal learning right it provides pre-screening guidance, counseling and support to ensure the overall growth of the candidate. So basically what happens under this pro, uh, component is that a person's skill sets are examined, are recognized and those skill sets are taken one step ahead by providing more intensive training uh, under this program, right? 
नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रधानमंत्री कौशल विकास योजना सो देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स गाइज इन द इन इन ऑल द स्कीम्स दैट यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर एंड ऑफकोर्स देर आर वेरियस थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर राइट सो अबाउट प्रधानमंत्री कौशल विकास योजना लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग फॉर एनी स्कीम यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर द ऑब्जेक्टिव If you can understand the name of this scheme, so what is the name? Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas. What is the meaning of Kaushal? Kaushal means skill, and Vikas, of course, we all know. Vikas, to aaj kal pichle kai saalon se bik raha hai hamare desh mein. So development. Vikas means what? Development. So Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, skill development scheme, which means obviously the scheme is intended towards developing the skills, right? So that is the objective to encourage. and promote skill development so as i told you you don't have to remember the objective aap samajh ke isko ek bar agar aapne samajh liya to that is all by providing free short term courses and incentivizing this by providing monetary rewards to youth for skill certification and obviously when we are talking about skill development we must be uh, catering to the youth of the country right ab 70 saal ke insaan ko skill development sarkar kara ke kya hi kar le isn't it it was launched in the year 2015 along with atal pension yojana and there are various schemes which were launched in the year 2015 now can you tell me the name of few schemes which are launched in the year, year 2015 especially the enrolled student abhi abhi humne government schemes ki revision shuru kar khatam kari hai khatam nahi abhi chali rahi hai in fact so 2015 mein the pilot project was launched and on the success of the pilot project pm kvy the second edition was launched in the year 2016 right the second edition was launched for a period of 4 years that is 2016 to 2020 With the target to train 10 million youth, right? The scheme is being implemented by NSDC, National Skill Development Corporation. That's also very obvious, which you don't have to remember. एक बार अगर आपने पढ़ लिया है, तो आपको दुबारा से इसको रटने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी, right? Total budgetary outlay of this uh, scheme was 12,000 crore. ठीक है, was मैं इसलिए कह रहा हूँ, because now we are under the third edition of PMKBY, और अब fourth भी बहुत जल्दी launch होने वाला है, right? And the funding pattern. Funding pattern is quite typical. so there are two components of this scheme one is centrally sponsored centrally managed which is sponsored by center and managed by center also also this component is implemented by nsdc national skill development corporation 75% of the funding is provided by central government and 25% by the respective state government all right centrally sponsored ka matlab hi yahi hota hai see there are two types of scheme one is centrally sponsored scheme where the funding is shared between the center and the states right and then we have a central sector scheme uske alawa hamare paas central sector scheme hoti hai aur central sector schemes wo hoti hai jisme 100% paisa jo hota hai bharat sarkar ka hota hai which is being funded entirely by the central government right and then we have centrally sponsored state managed so it is implemented by the state governments through state skill development missions and 25% of the funding is provided by the central government and the rest is provided by the respective state government so it is reverse of the first component in the first component which is centrally sponsored centrally managed 75% is by the government of india and 25% is by the state government while in the second component which is state managed 25% is sponsored by the government of india while 75% is sponsored by the respective state governments all right now there are three major components of this scheme short term training under which short term training courses are provided to the beneficiaries recognition of prior learning program jo ki humne pad liya and then there are special projects agar koi special project aata hai jiske andar skill development dik karni hai so that is also a part of this particular scheme and targeted beneficiary ki baat kare so any indian national so there is no income criteria there is no religion criteria there is no caste criteria so any indian national who is an unemployed youth there is only one criteria that you must be not you must be the person must be the unemployed youth or school or college dropouts and he or she possesses aadhar card and a bank account right now training guidelines training is imparted as per the national skill qualification framework right and 70% attendance is mandatory for the student 70% attendance zaruri hai ye nahi ki tum jaoge aur training bhi loge class bunk karoge to class bunk karne walon ko sarkar certificate nahi degi aur na hi employment opportunity degi that is very obvious no now the third edition was launched in the year 2021 to support local economy and it was launched in the backdrop of covid 19 कोविड 19 के बाद इसके के बाद के जो हालात थे उसको देखते हुए इसको लॉन्च किया गया एंड इट इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड इन अ मोर डिसेंट्रलाइज्ड स्ट्रक्चर विद ग्रेटर रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज वर गिवन टू द स्टेट्स एंड द यूटीज डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्किल कमिटीज आर प्लेइंग अ की रोल इन इन एड्रेसिंग द स्किल गैप एंड असेसिंग डिमांड एट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल एंड आल्सो दिस न्यू स्कीम द थर्ड एडिशन 
will be more trainee and learner centric right addressing the ambitions of an aspirational bharat all right the the coverage of the third edition of pmkby is in the 717 districts and the target is to train 8 lakh candidates by the end of financial year 2021 and no data has have been given by the government of india whether this target has been achieved or not matlab badi badi baatein aa gayi hain but yes exactly unhone nahi bataya hai and the total outlay of this total outlay of this third edition is 948.90 crores all right so that is all about this pradhan mantri koshal vikas yojana and let's come back to the question now i hope you got the uh, point ki kis tarike se hame schemes ko cover karna hota hai and this scheme to is you know it's it's very easy pradhan mantri koshal vikas yojana there are various other schemes which i have discussed uh, in very much detail in the course so pradhan mantri koshal vikas yojana is the correct answer क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री पे आ जाते हैं विच ऑफ फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड द सेकंड इनलैंड वाटरवे समिट अंडर द थीम टैपिंग इनटू द पावर ऑफ इनलैंड वाटरवे प्रमोटिंग ग्रोथ ट्रेड एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी राइट सो एज आई टोल्ड यू इन समिट टाइप ऑफ थिंग इन कॉन्क्लेव टाइप ऑफ थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दोकेशन दर्गेनाइजेशन विच हैज ऑर्गेनाइज एंड थीम इफ देर इज एनी थीम एंड ऑफकोर्स द ऑब्जेक्टिव वाई इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज सो इट वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज इन न्यू डेली विद एन ऑब्जेक्टिव टू एक्सप्लोर potential of inland waterways for regional economic integration and sustainable development okay it was organized by psg chamber of commerce and industry with the theme which is already mentioned in the question tapping into the power of inland waterways promoting growth trade and prosperity okay ji so that is all and hence the correct answer will be psg chamber of commerce and industry option e is the correct answer Question number four, very very important question. It is about the total outlay of vibrant villages program. So guys, if you want to uh, know about the vibrant villages program in detail, you can go to the playlist of PIB two four seven, and in February sixteen seventeen, the date I am telling you here, February sixteen seventeen, wali video me I have discussed the vibrant villages program in detail. I will also put the link of that video in the description. ठीक है? So वहाँ से आप देखेंगे. अभी हम इसमें केवल आज हम केवल एलोकेशन के बारे में बात करेंगे ठीक है सो द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स विच इज द नोडल मिनिस्ट्री टू इंप्लीमेंट दिस स्कीम हैज द गिवन हैज अप्रूव द आउटले ऑफ दिस स्कीम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम प्रीवियस फाइनेंशियल ईयर और अब तो 22 23 प्रीवियस फाइनेंशियल ईयर हो चुका है नाउ वी आर इन द न्यू फाइनेंशियल ईयर 23 24 फाइनेंशियल ईयर 22 23 अप टू फाइनेंशियल ईयर 25 26 राइट सो देयर आर टू कंपोनेंट्स अंडर दिस स्कीम वन इज रोड कंपोनेंट अंडर व्हिच roads will be constructed and an another component is other component right so road component in financial year 22 23 koi bhi paisa nahi 23 24 ke liye 500 crores 24 25 aur 25 26 dono ke liye 1000 uh, 1000 crore each and total is 2500 crores while for other components in the previous financial year it was 50 crores in this financial year 700 crore in the next financial year it will be 750 and uske baad wale mein 25 26 mein it will be 800 crores This total becomes twenty three hundred crores. So, if anyone asks you what is the total outlay of the scheme, the answer would be forty eight hundred crore, out of which twenty five hundred crore will be used for construction, constructing the roads. Okay, ji. So, this question is about the financial year twenty three twenty four, and for the road component, the correct answer will be option B, five hundred crores. Okay, and if you want to uh, know about this scheme in detail, so you can uh, watch this video PIB two four seven. प्लेलिस्ट में जाओ फेब्रुअरी 16, 17 एंड आई विल आल्सो पुट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन राइट एंड नाउ गाइस लेट्स मूव अहेड टू द क्वेश्चंस इन शॉर्ट व्हिच नीड नॉट टू बी डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू वांट टू हैव द पीडीएफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन जॉइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड इफ यू वांट टू आस्क एनीथिंग रिलेटेड टू एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन फॉलो मी हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 व्हिच कंट्री इज प्रोवाइडिंग फॉलोइंग लोन्स टू इंडिया दिस इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन 5509 crore for patna metro rail construction project 520 crore for project for forest and biodiversity conservation for climate change response in west bengal 1055.53 crores for rajasthan water sector livelihood improvement project all these loans are being provided by the government of japan so option e is the correct answer to this question question number 6 where will the second g20 share pass meeting under india's g20 presidency chaired by india's g20 sherpa amit ka amitab kant take place this is very very important however ab ye exam mein nahi aayega because ye purani baat ho chuki hai 
Amitabh Kant is the India's G20 Sherpa. So this meeting will take place in Kumarakom, which is a village in Kerala. Right? Option B is the correct answer. For which armed force or forces, Ministry of Defence has signed 1982 crore contract with Bell, Bharat Electronics Limited, for procurement of automated air defence control and reporting system, which is Project Akash T. Right? Akash T, remember, is an automated air defence control and reporting system. Now, don't get confused with the word air defence. This project Akash Teel is for the Indian Army. The air controlling unit of Indian Army. So option A is the correct answer, not the Indian Air Force. Question number 8. Which ministry has prepared the Coastal Vulnerability Index maps for the entire coastline of India? This index was released last year in the month of February 2022. It is in news because regarding this, a parliamentary reply has been submitted by the Ministry of Earth Sciences. Right? So we don't have to go into the details of Coastal Vulnerability Index. Or you bought typical index tha, so that was also not required at that time when it was lost. Okay, so let's go and discuss detail. Mein kiya hai so the correct answer is Ministry of Earth Sciences. Option B. Where has the first meeting of India-Russia Working Group on Roads and Intelligent Transport Systems held? Okay, so India-Russia Working Group on Roads and Intelligent Transport Systems. This meeting took place in New Delhi, the capital. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 10, very, very important. How much target was, to ye was ho gaya, set by the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highway for construction of national highways in the country during the current financial year? Ab currently, now it's previous. Because we have news uh, March, so it's current. Hai. Otherwise, if we talk March, it's been the previous financial year. Ho chuka hai. So the target was 12,200 km. Whether this target is, is achieved or not, this has not been clarified by the government. 12,200 kilometers is the correct answer. Where has B2B Conference and Expo and National Arogya Summit been organized under India's presidency of SCO to promote traditional medicine? And as we all know, India's presidency, presidency of SCO is till the month of September 2023. Right? And this conference took place in Guwahati. And remember, very important thing that this conference was organized in line with the theme of secure SCO. Where S stands for security for citizens, E for economic development, C for connectivity, U for unity, E for respect to, uh, respect for sovereignty and territorial unity, and E for environmental protection. You need to remember the full form. Yes. So option A is the correct answer. And the last question for today, but not the least, name the portal developed and maintained by FIO, which is Federation of Indian Export Organization, to provide product-wise countries tariff or preferential tariff information applicable for Indian products, rules of origin, market access requirements, export import policy, export benefits, etc., to the export import community. Right? The name of the portal, guys, is Indian Trade Portal and it is being maintained by FIO, that is Federation of Indian Export Organization. Option C is the correct answer. All right, guys, so that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And yes, uh, I will again say this, don't be sad, right? Uh, ki notification abhi tak nahi aaya, kab aayega, kab nahi aayega. Dekho, kisi ko bhi kuch nahi pata hota, notification kab aana hai, kab nahi aana hai. You guys just do your work and just don't get demotivated. Notification ko aana hai aur usse aana hi hoga. In the meantime, I am with you. Agar aap ko koi bhi baat karni hai mere se, to you can uh, connect me on Instagram or Telegram, right? At Mashi Manish. So... तो चिंता वाली कोई बात नहीं है आ, हमारी पूरी टीम आपके साथ है बस पढ़ते रहो और आगे बढ़ते रहो एंड या आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास गुड बाय टेक केयर एंड गॉड ब्लेस